Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're taking a look at a message that is meant to reach you right now in regard to a worry that you currently have. And to do this reading, these are the three piles for today's reading. You can either pick your piles using your intuition or your zodiac signs. If you prefer the latter, you'll find a timestamp in the description box that'll take you straight to the part of the introduction where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which pile they're going to end up in. And this way you can choose your reading using your signs. But if you prefer to pick your reading using your intuition, there are two ways you can do that. The first way is to pick which judgment card you are the most drawn to or the most or the ones that you are the most drawn to. Or you can pick your piles using your crystals. If this is your preferred method, then let me introduce your crystals to you. For today, you have the smoky quartz for pile number one. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the citrine, and this is what your crystal looks like. As for pile number three, you have the labradorite, and this is what your crystal looks like. Oh, yeah, there we go. That picks it up much better. Ah, I lost it. There. Yeah, there we go. So oh, I think if I put it this way, you guys, there we go. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the piles for you here today. You can go about this reading in two different ways. Perhaps there are several things you are currently worried about and wish, wish to get a message in regards to them. So you can assign with your intuition different uh, areas to different piles and get a message on this specific thing uh, that you're worried about from that pile or you can see the different piles that you're drawn to with regards to that thing you are worried about so let's say for example you're a student and you're worried about the coming exam you can Take a look at which one of these piles you're the most drawn to. Maybe you're just drawn to one, then that will be your pile. Maybe you're drawn to several, then you'll find your me more messages within these piles uh, as well. It is all up to your intuition and how you feel towards the piles. I would highly recommend you follow it, whether it's taking you to one pile or several. And once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your timestamps, and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And if this is something that you do not prefer, then please pause the video, take as much time as you need. And as mentioned, I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction was created just for you. And what I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs around really well before we begin drawing out four different zodiac signs for each pile. All right, I think this is a sign that we're ready. 
So let's draw out the first four signs for pile number one. We have the signs Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Capricorn. For pile number two, the signs are one, two, three, and four. The signs are Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Aries. As for pile number three, the signs are Taurus, Libra, Virgo, and Gemini. So my dear soul family, these are the signs and their association to each pile for today's reading. Please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, and rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. But if you have a preferred placement that you would like to check your reading with today, please feel free to do that as well. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your timestamps and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today we're taking a look at a message that is meant to reach you right now in regards to something that you are currently worried about. And to do this reading, these are the oracle cards that we will be using, as well as the tea leaves. And your crystal is the beautiful smoky quartz. Some of you have specifically chosen this deck through the judgment card. And if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Aquarius, sorry, Scorpio, Le Leo, and Capricorn. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, it is a general reading. Some specific details may sometimes resonate with you, and sometimes they are, are just meant for someone else specifically, and that's the nature of a general reading. Okay, so let's place your beautiful crystal right there. And before we start off, actually, I'm seeing your cards in pairs. In fact, this one... There were two cards that were meant to come out and I thought, no, I'm just drawn to one. But the idea is um, that there are twos here. So I'm not really sure if this is talking about yin and the yang or something completing or you getting two things or I'm not sure. We'll find out why you've got a lot of twos. So I see this part right there. You've got two cards and a third one peeping out. All right, so let's put your tea leaves to the side and check out your cards. So you have growth. There's a huge emphasis on the throat chakra. We'll place your card right there. You also have father. Such a beautiful card. And you can see the same hand gesture, right? Interesting. All right. You also have, again, that hand gesture. Wow. Will you be provided a voice or something? I'm not sure. Or will your voice provide you with so much abundance? Maybe. I don't know. Let's check out what it is you're worried about. Well, I think as soon as we take a look at all of your cards, we'll understand the whole situation. So you have provider 
and it's really interesting. I think I'm just going to keep them right next to each other. Unbelievable. Okay, so you have the sun in Scorpio with endurance. You have, why are they there? That's better. So you have explore. Okay, interesting. And you have guardedness. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Is it saying that the solution or abundance is in your hands somehow by exploring and overcoming something that's scaring you? Too early to judge. I mean, that's like... Uh, I could be absolutely wrong. So let's wait. What if I push these down just a little bit like this? And this way, I believe we can fit this card up there. So you have Jupiter and Leo with publicity. Interesting. And your tea leaves are Younger men, dealings or relationship with a younger man. You have cup, you should accept valid criticism. And you have cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. And look at that. So right off the bat, something that I'm absolutely sure about for you guys is that whatever happens, you are protected. Like maybe the worst case scenario or the thing that you are fearing the most is not going to happen. You are absolutely protected from it. And that couldn't be a, a stronger, there couldn't be a stronger synchronicity to show that to you. In fact, whatever situation is, it seems like you're going to rise to the top. You're going to be sh uh, like shining bright because I'm seeing three bright lights here. So I don't know how this fits in your situation, but it kind of says use your throat chakra, uh, you, either your expression or your voice boldly or something. Right. It's too early, like I said. I'd rather wait and check out your tarot cards. This way we'll understand your story much better and I'll be able to put your cards together and tell you what I see in terms of what it is that you're worried about, what your message is. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what message is meant to reach you right now when it comes to what it is that you are worried about? Let's check out your tarot cards together. So, you have, whoa, the star card right off the bat. Did I not tell you? There's something about you shining brightly. Unbelievable. Okay. You have the Ace of Wands. The Nine of Swords. Yeah. You've got the Seven of Swords. There was a highlight on this card. This is the Queen of Swords. Hmm. I definitely see an aspect of speak boldly. I don't know what it is because this is a, the cup of tea talks about tea, right? Tea, talking, queen of swords being bold and honest and straightforward. So that's definitely being highlighted in your reading. You have the five of wands. There is definitely a struggle here. Maybe there's a struggle going on between you and someone or something. Wow, six of wands, you're going to be winning. <laughs> this is not the first time you get this. A struggle that you're going to be winning over. You have 
the Three of Cups. Does it have to do with people in this reading for you guys? It does look like it. I mean, at this point, especially with the presence of a person in your tea leaves, it does look like it's a struggle. This reading is talking about a struggle between you and someone, to be specific. Or maybe it's something. I've got to wait. Oh, look at this cat watching. So cute. <laughs> you have the Two of Cups. <clears throat> You've got the Emperor. Hmm. Looks like the Emperor here is not sure what to do. It's like you have power, but you don't know how to use it, maybe. Although you have power, you don't know what to do or something. Wow, look at that, the Seven of Cups. This Seven of Cups is imagining her, her future story and is already loving it. She can envision the abundance and is already excited about it. Okay, and you can see it does come true with the success here. Ah, you have the Four of Cups. Again, feeling like this person has everything but is not happy. You can see that again. Someone who has power but doesn't know how to use it. Someone who's abundant but not happy. What is going on here? Nah, the, this reading is going to require me to look deeper into it before we begin. And you have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so we're. it does look like you are in some form of challenge. And it's really weird. I, You can see abundance here. I thought first that you're getting abundance, but it looks like you are abundant here. Or maybe this is talking about you waiting and being worried while abundance, energetically at least, is all around you. It means you're provided and that and you being provided will never be taken away from you. Whether this abundance is has to do for you with money, wealth, or people, or whatever it is that you value. Right, so that's an overview of the cards. Let me now dig deeper and try to extract, extract the story here. What are we seeing here for you? Let me take a moment to find out. See, that card fell next to the Three of Cups. I think this is insisting here that you have some form of challenge with people or a person in your life. Yes, at this point, I think it is a challenge that you have with people. Somehow this challenge that you have with people is affecting your happiness or maybe threatening what you already have. What's going on here? The fact that there is assurance here, this means that you probably do in fact have things that you love and you're worried about losing them. That's it. Whether it's people, whether it's power or abundance. I how did I think of that? This is a general reading. And so some of you clicking on this pile, uh, pile are worried about losing uh, some specific person or a dear person to you. Um, maybe you are worried, you have some struggles socially with your friends now or a specific person or your manager or your team. Uh, some of you uh, have like a good position, you're worried about maybe losing it. Some of you have abundance and you're maybe worried about losing it. That's a thing here. In all cases, wherever this falls for you, I can clearly tell you that your guides are telling you you're protected. Don't worry about losing that blessing that the universe has provided for you. You're meant to receive it and no one can take that from you. You'll be nurtured, taken care of. Don't worry about that. And it seems to me like you are currently uh, going towards a transition. And perhaps that transition feels a bit tricky to you. 
and, and that's why you're really stressed. You're afraid that during this transition, you're moving from one thing to the other, that something will be stolen from you, taken from you. Like, <clears throat> without you realizing, it's just going to be taken. Like maybe, let's say you are in a relationship and you're like making this grand transition from one position to the other and you have to focus on work and you're really worried about, you know, having um, your relationship or the love between you and your partner and family being, you know, without you noticing being taken from you. Or maybe you are making a big move at work and although you have a great position now, you're afraid that maybe you'll make a, a fool out of yourself or that this position or, or shifts in your work. Maybe there are shifts in your work and you're afraid that your position will be taken. Maybe you have a lot of abundance and as this transition maybe in the con economy is happening or maybe you're making a move or some shifts are happening in your life, you're afraid that this abundance will be taken away from you. Wherever you fall here, your guides are saying you are absolutely protected. Continue on that move. Let this move happen. This is not going to be taken away from you. It will always be there for you. So don't worry about it. You know, you'll always be a winner. You'll uh, with the six of wands. You'll in fact, once this transition happens, you're going to feel victorious. You're going to feel successful. Uh, whether this is your relationship or your work or whatever this is, and, and you're going to be doing great. So don't worry about that. In fact, I feel your guides are telling you with the Seven of Cups, don't put your attention on your future worries because your future is absolutely abundant. It's beautiful. But instead, put your focus on imagining what you want, because this card is so important, not just because of the law of attraction, which is important. Of course, I mean, if you only put that into consideration, it will take you places because the law of the mind, I forgot what it's called. I'll remember it now. The law of the mind. I can't remember my apologies. Um, you will know that the mind does play a huge part in everything that we do. In fact, the way we create things, it all starts with the mind and our belie belief in something so much that we actually start taking action. And that's where I was going. So my point is here, your guides are saying, focus on that because putting less energy onto the worries and putting it more onto what you desire is going to open up your mind to allowing you to explore new ways in which you can achieve your biggest dreams without noticing it. If you put your mind into thinking about your dreams, your mind will automatically spill the tea and show you how you can actually reach these dreams. It will give you so many ideas that will take you to places. So your guides are saying, this is a time during that transition where there's creation of energy, movement of energy, strong energy. Use that movement to your favor. This, there's powerful energy here of creation and expression. That's the throat chakra that will help you grow. So use that power for it to provide you with more abundance and fulfillment of whatever it is that you're wishing and hoping for. And don't focus on things moving the wrong way, but rather absolutely focus on things moving in the best way for you. This will serve you in actually moving successfully to the other side. So it's all about how you speak to yourself. Ah, And so here, it's either talking about, it, it could be both things, not either. It could be both things depending on your situation. If you are dealing with someone, then your reading is saying, speak boldly, express yourself efficiently and well. Be honest, be bold, and say everything that you want to say. Express yourself well to this person. The 
good communication between you and this person or you and these people will make sure that things flow smoothly for you. It could also mean use your throat chakra to express new ways of do, doing things. So if this is about your work and not people, for example, or your studies, then use your creative energy to your advantage. Take the time to explore different ways of doing things. And really, you will find that your throat chakra will be, if you put your focus on it, will be providing you with bold, strong ideas that can help you uh, achieve much bigger things than you ever thought. It will help you rise to the top. Whatever challenge it is that you are going through at the moment with the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands always shows that you are on a higher plateau, higher than all of the challenges you are facing at the moment, meaning that you do have the power and, a, and the ad, a greater advantage than all of these challenges that you're going through to face them. So use these to your advantage. Think about hmm, what higher plateau or advantages do I have that I can use to my favor to express myself better or to create the things that I want to create for this next phase of my life. It's interesting that this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, is showing you are en route to a new start. And it seems like uh, this middle phase or this in-between phase requires some balance. But I do see that this figure has the muscles and the stability and the strength to be standing there well uh, in a balanced way and you can already see that she's going to take one step and land to the other side successfully so yeah don't worry you're not going to fall in between in uh, between these two phases of your life you're absolutely protected you don't need to worry about that if this is abundance you will always be abundant if you are in power you know you have been given this power for a reason. It's not going to be taken from you. Or the, I don't want to say power. I want to say that position that you are in at work or whatever the situation is. If this is about people, you can see with the Three of Cups, there is great love and great uh, connection between the figures and the Three of Cups. Three of Cups shows great company. So it does look, especially with the Two of Cups, that there will be a lot of harmony and it's going to be really okay. Maybe you're going through challenges now, but so is life. Life has its ups and downs and ebbs and flows. And just focus on facing one challenge at a time. Um, here with the Five of Wands, if you're, having, if you're struggling, there's power with someone, str power struggle with someone, because that's what the cards is specifically showing. Remember that you have a lot of power. Don't forget that. And also uh, use your honest voice, your bold, powerful and honest voice to communicate honestly what you do like and what you don't like about the situation. And make sure that with the queen, this is balanced energy. Make sure that there is a balance where you make where you protect your rights, but also at the same time, Make sure that the other person's rights are protected. This is the only way to winning for everyone. So, yeah, it seems like uh, you're really going to overcome this uh, period that you're worried about. You're going to be winning over it. And the biggest advice that your guides are, want you to know at the moment, other than the fact that you are absolutely protected, the message that you are absolutely protected, the guidance is use your throat chakra, however that fits into your life. Explore different ways of doing th things because these will resurface uh, new types of abundance that you weren't putting into consideration. And if this is about your work, then it looks like either publicity or recognition. You will have a lot of recognition, even in relationships. Um, 
with your partner, your partner will greatly recognize uh, recognize the effort that you're putting in, will recognize how dear you are to them, and will really see you shining bright like a star. Um, which means they will really admire that they are with someone like you. So depending on how this resonates with you, my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see in your reading. I wish you all the best of luck in this new phase that you're getting into in this life. Don't worry, it's going to be great. Uh, you're not going to lose anything and it's all going to be great. Just use your throat chakra. This was your message, my dear pile number one. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. I heard the word trust in my mind right now. I saw trust uh, like I saw it written and I heard trust. So that's like a big thing here. Uh, that's a channeled word for you. Trust. It's going to be great. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Today we're taking a look at a message that is meant to reach you right now. Let's go again. Uh, in regards to something that you are currently worried about. So... Your crystal for this reading is the beautiful citrine. Some of you have chosen this deck using this specific judgment card. And if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Cancer, Sagittarius, and Pisces. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Remember, it is a general reading. Some specific details in a reading may resonate with you. They may... Um, confirm the reading for you and at other times uh, other specific details may not resonate with you at all and it's just meant for someone else and that's the nature of a general reading oh your cards are clearly these thank you so much that was so specific i also feel this one so i'm gonna take it and we'll put your tea leaves to the side right and let's start exploring your cards and also creating space. All right. So your cards are... You've got the card delusion. I wonder how this is going to translate into your reading. Right. So let's keep it here. You also have... Constant Rescuer. Hmm... Okay. Well, you know, this says something so strong right off the bat. It says that your worries uh, that you have in mind at the moment could be totally exaggerated. And to remember that you've always been saved. You've never been left to, you know... You've never been left. You've always been saved, no matter how difficult the situation was. And in specifically the situation you, that you may be going through at the moment, um, uh, is it seems like your mind is making it bigger than it could be. But this is just my impression right off the bat. I'll wait and see what all of your cards together are saying. So you have <clears throat> memory. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you have Mercury in Libra with influence. <clears throat> okay. You know, I, I can't help but think about something. Influence, delusion. You know how there are certain things like, for example, alcohol or other things that you take and they make <clears throat> the mind perceive things differently. I feel like you might be going through a, a, a difficult situation and you might be stressed due to that difficult situation. And it is that stress that um, is creating an influence on how you're viewing the situation that you're in at the moment, especially that you could have had 
a previous memory of something that did go wrong and i think this past is affecting your current situation and how you see it i genuinely do see that but you are depicted here as being in a bubble it's like you are insulated again that bubble what are the odds these are two different decks and you know the pig is a symbol of um prosperity it's a symbol of wealth actually so if you are specifically worried about money your cards here are saying you are insulated but that's just a specific message here in all cases i really do see that you're being uh, protected and that your memories or maybe things that did actually go wrong from the past are affecting how you th see things now and i do see uh, the stress that you could be going through at the moment have a huge effect on you thinking that it's going to go down in such a, a bad way and your guys are saying it's not these are the different reasons why you could be really worried but it's not going to go down that way because you are absolutely protected like really what are the odds uh, with these two bubbles here okay or the circles enclosing you it's like you are out of the danger it's not gonna come near you so you have archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up so nice to see you have chain chain of events that will affect your life spear heartache over what you no longer have Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. And it's coming next to memory. Very interesting, right? Then you have crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Loving your cards for you, my dear pile number two. The only way we'll be able to understand the situation and ex uh, see exactly what your guides want to say in regards to this situation and what your message is in terms of what you're worried about, is through your tarot cards. Okay, and I also feel drawn to that one, and this one, and finally these two. No, no, not finally, this one as well. Okay, so let's check out your tarot cards and see what your message is. So you have the King of Pentacles. Wow. Look, speaking of honor, look at that. Wow. You have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, things are moving for you with the Eight of Wands. And you're afraid that they would come into a halt with the Eight of Swords. I think that's what's going on in this pile. Yeah, think you're worried about losing something that you have. Especially that this suit... Uh, and the oracle is the suit of fruit. It's like, it looks like you already have something going on for you. You know, fruit is some fulfillment. Maybe you're fulfilled or maybe, yeah, the, you are worried about losing something that you love. You have the temperance card and you do see the lover's card, uh, the lover's figures here. So yeah, I really feel like, you're worried about losing something that you love. But here with the temperance card, you can see the angel of the lover's card rising. You can see the lovers. I feel that your reading is saying that not only are you not going to lose it, but there's honor coming to you. You're rising even more than that. You have the queen of wands. Again, honor. You have, wow, look at that, the Emperor and the Sun card. Oh my God. <laughs> like there is um, this feeling, there's love, first of all, that keeps being, there's a synchronicity of s several things. There's love, right? And there's a ring of commitment here. So some of you may be worried about a romantic connection, you're worried about a heartbreak that could happen in this romantic connection, perhaps because it went wrong before. So that's for some of you. 
when in fact uh, the op absolute opposite is going to happen we'll talk about it here or you are worried about abundance that you have or something working for you or a position that you have all of these are different things that i'm seeing um you're worried that it would come to a halt when really you're about to shine bright okay that's these are all definitely there i mean these are powerful archetypes the emperor the queen of wands the king of pentacles you've got the crown so yeah some of you may be worried about you being in a high position high position doesn't have to be work maybe you've got a high position in something that you greatly care about you're afraid of losing that position of power to i don't know negotiate to get something done that you care about or a, a, a strong position in something and if this is your worry, you're going to shine bright, <laughs> my dear pile number two. Right, so let's see the rest of your cards. You have the three of swords. Yeah, you are really afraid of heartache. Ah, uh, my cards just fell. I think you're afraid of a certain fall. Yeah, look at that. You're afraid of falling. Yeah, sorry, I went to adjust the cards before they fall. So perhaps this is a message that happens straight into your reading of making a few adjustments or something. Let's see. You have the Ace of Wands. Look, the power is in your hands, my dear pile number two. That's a strong message here. You're afraid of something, but your guides are saying, first of all, it's not going to go down the way you think because your mind is making it bigger than it is second of all you have the power to prevent it from falling in the first place you have the five of wands you won't believe this but when i saw them building a ship it reminded me of noah when he had to build this big ship to take everything that he and um, wanted to save all the animals and everything from the flood so that's pretty interesting here this is the background of the five of swords of winning something that maybe wanted to defeat you or you're afraid that it wants to defeat you because it's the sword suits but this is actually the uh, card of the five of wands and uh, going through a challenge so maybe you feel like something is challenging you at the moment. That is true. You are absolutely going through a challenge, but the challenge isn't as big as your mind is making it to be. Also, your guides are saying it's not going to come to a halt. The power is in your hand. And the little actions that you take today, one little action after the other, will affect the whole situation. Not to mention that it seems like you are with the archway stepping into something much larger. And so it looks like the reality and how you're seeing it don't match at all. Is there a risk, however? Yes, but the risk is not within this new reality that you're getting into because you're stepping into this new reality. The risk could be something slowly falling, just like my deck that could fall altogether. And if you take a moment to make the necessary adjustments, then things will not get out of hand. But are they now enough to make something fall for you? No, absolutely not. You are protected. Nothing is going to fall for you. And you have the power to make these adjustments so that things don't, in fact, later fall. So are there any loose ends that you have that you could commit to uh, adjusting one step at a time because one little step after the other will make a huge difference in the future. Okay, so we'll talk about that chip in a moment, but let's continue. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Ah, the Three of Swords. The, the background of the Three of Swords, but this is in fact the Three of Cups, the card of celebration. So you know what I'm seeing here? Something so interesting. You keep getting the idea of doing things slowly with the Knight of Pentacles um, and the chain, like one circle after the other, one step after the other. 
I'm seeing that you have the power in your hands to take small steps. Like you could take the first small step could be let's gather the risks and write them down. So at least you've got them contained and you know what it is that you're worried about. And the reason I say that to you is because your cards are showing that there is something going out of proportion. So I would say the first step, this is from me, it's not from the cards, but perhaps the first step is to like contain, put it in your hands. What are the real risks uh, really? Everything I'm going to say of, of when it comes to the steps is from my mind, but please translate it to how you see it for yourself. These, it's, it's just my way to be able to translate energy. What I mean by taking small steps. So the second step could be, right, what small step can I do today that will make a difference? And then the next day, what now that I've done that, what other small step can I do today to make a difference? And taking slow, small steps. Here is from where I'm seeing the cards from this point. Taking small, steady steps every day will allow you to not only overcome and celebrate that which you were worried about at one point, but it will prove to give you a benefit that you weren't even seeing in the first place. So that's why your guides want you to slowly take care of the things you're worried about, because not only are you going to overcome them, but they will be providing you with a great benefit that you weren't even seeing uh, at all. And they might provide you with things like stability, recognition, wealth, um, helping you reach something that you love, helping you find balance with the temperance. These are all different things. Uh, uh, yeah, respect, honor, recognition for sure for a lot of you. So yeah, and balance, of course. Wealth, all of them are important. <laughs> Stability, power, strength. So, yeah, take it one step at a time. Don't uh, stress yourself. Don't feel like things are falling. They're not. Take it one step at a time. In fact, with the flute, it's like, enjoy the ride. Yes, you do have some things to take care of, but take it slowly. Enjoy the ride, and it's going to work out for you, uh, my dear pile. Number two, I remember the ship now. Every time I hold the cards, I'm like, but the ship. <laughs> so let me think about it. What is this saying for you? The ship. Taking samples. Maybe some of you, you are guided to take samples of your work before deleting everything. Very specific, but I thought about it. Uh, maybe some of you are being guided to back up your work. It's very important. Uh, what else could I be seeing with a ship? Ask for samples if you're like doing a product or something. Ask for samples first. That's another thing that I can depict from 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 this uh, ship. What else? Oh, uh, you've got something important. When you are worried about big risks like that, right? If your mind is exaggerating uh, as your guides are showing the situation, it doesn't mean that you should ignore the messages that your mind are giving you. Whilst they're not going to go down this way, you're being guided to uh, take the precautions that are needed in case this does happen, which which it won't, but for your meant that's why you have the five of swords the 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 thoughts but for your sake uh, you know ignoring them won't go away but if you listen to it if you heed the message they're trying to give you you know prepare for it make sure you're prepared for it in case this catastrophe that your mind is drawing it to be does happen and in this way you know if it doesn't happen which is like the most likely case here in your cards as of the energy of today i can tell you that it's not going to happen but if you're worried take the necessary precautions so that you have the peace of mind to know that if 
in fact it does happen you're good so yeah uh, take as much steps as you can to secure yourself but what what i'm seeing here for you is that you are st stepping into something much bigger much larger a, a, an awesome new opportunity that you will really love and this opportunity will make you shine bright and will allow you to be abundant you will feel balanced and stable as well <clears throat> so the card here is showing that what you were afraid of is not going to come down this way in fact i do see you celebrating um in the future being happy <clears throat> and perhaps remembering all the tears and going oh it didn't go down the way i thought it was going to go i'm actually celebrating my future it looks great so that's definitely what i'm seeing here it's all in the mind and you do have the power to take the necessary steps just to keep your mind at peace and it's always important to take precautions okay so your judgment card is here i do see you rising for sure the movement in this pile is up and not down you're rising to the top you have the queen of swords and this is the throne of the empress you'll be taken care of but at the same time with the queen of swords you're being guided to stay firm and disciplined firm and disciplined go according to plan but you know in the background know that you are genuinely being taken care of it's okay you have look at that it's the opposite it's the here you have the eight of swords in the background of the eight of wands here you have the eight of wands with the background of the eight of swords it shows the it is literally saying the opposite is going to happen you th things are working out and you think you're going to be stuck no actually what you think is in your thoughts because that's the eight of swords but it is the card of eight of wands showing that things are actually going to be moving for you don't worry it's far from the truth my dear pile number two <laughs> and you have the seven of swords it always reminds me of arthur's um sword which is saying only you can make it better for yourself if you have thoughts that are going blowing out of proportions please respect it take control of it uh, and you can definitely make sure that what you're worried about is not going to go down that way take the necessary precautions slowly but in your future things are bright you're stable and you're very happy with what came down my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading. Also, there's a lot of respect and recognition coming for you next. You can definitely expect that. This was your reading, my dear pile number two. two. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Labradorite. And today we're taking a look at a message that is meant to reach you right now in regards to something that you are currently worried about. And to do this reading, these are the, car, uh, the decks that we will be using. Um as well as of course the tea leaves and if you've picked your reading using your pile i mean using your zodiac signs then in that case the signs for this pile are taurus libra virgo and gemini welcome to your reading guys if these are not your zodiac signs as a quick disclaimer i like to remind you that it is a general reading some specific details may resonate with you and at other times, it, 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 specific details are just meant for someone else. And that's, you know, the nature of a general reading. So please don't worry about it at all. And remember, this is what happens during a general reading. All right. So now that this disclaimer is out of the way, let's place your beautiful crystal. Oh, this crystal. I love the Labradorite. Right there. 
and take a look at your cards. So right off the bat, I feel like these two are your significator cards. Let's check them out. You have the sovereign and you have integration. Hmm. So interesting. <laughs> like something is coming together for you integration or that you will have the power to do something wow let's find out you have ah this did pop up in pile number two the exact card so if you were drawn to pile number two i highly recommend it you have delusion here and ah, this is now giving a much deeper understanding of something it's always great to wait and see. You have protection. Love this card. This is an awesome card to receive in a reading where you are worried about something. Right. So you have Jupiter in Libra with negotiation. Hmm. And you have Jupiter again with Aries with Enterprise. Two Jupiter cards. It definitely shows that you're going to be quite lucky in something there's a lot of luck on your side in fact you've got a big jupiter symbol on your card as well you do see that something will be coming into balance and you don't have to lose one thing over the other it seems like it's part of your worries here you don't have to lose one thing over the other you can keep both whatever these two things are I also see that it's fated for things to be lucky for you with the acorns at this point of your life. There isn't much to really worry about. You have a bouquet with compliments from an admirer. You have career. Is this a new office? With the flowers and the desk or a new position or something perhaps for some of you especially that you have the sovereign here and whoa you've got ladder climbing to success see guys i'm telling you for uh, a lot of you if you are worried about your career in specific or your goals your cards here are showing that you're definitely climbing towards success there's a lot of success up ahead and i feel like you're growing and you're ready to receive a higher position. Very specific if this is your career, but the career card did pop up for you. So it's important to mention that. You have Beryl. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. And you can see you're moving towards that. So we can see in this reading, you're worried about goals maybe you're worried about money maybe you're worried about love in whichever case this is you can see that you are protected and that you are in fact moving towards these things that you are currently lacking it doesn't mean that you'll lose one over the other lose one as an awesome thing in your life to get something else that's not going to happen it's fated for you to be blessed at this point of your life and you are protected with delusion. It's like your mind could be playing games on you. And protection shows that you are protected from that which your mind is perhaps exaggerating due to worries and fears. And you have December. I wonder why you have December. Let's find out together. Specifically December the 7th. Or 17th. Okay, we'll see why. Ah, and you've got torch. You know, I'm seeing it in a different way. Perhaps December is not timing. It could be for some of you. Maybe something huge is happening to you towards the end of the year or in December, which is the end of the year. <laughs> but I'm also seeing something else. This is like a lot of ice, cold weather. And you can see the torch here lightening the way and warming things up for you. So I'll definitely take that into consideration as we're doing your reading. Whoa! <laughs> and you right off the bat have the Wheel of Fortune with change. 
expect major changes to be happening in your life, my dear pile number three. This pile is going to be blessed with major changes fated to come up for you. Nothing or anyone can take away what is fated to happen is what your message is. I mean, you can worry. You can be afraid of maybe bigger people in power. You can be afraid of losing something. Whatever it is, nothing or no one, no thing, no circumstance or no person can take away what is already written and fated for you to happen. Uh, and what's fated here is that you are moving towards either great love, great money, a lot of money, or you achieving your goals, a lot of success, maybe a, a new position at work or um, like an upgrade to your career, something like that, depending on, of course, what resonates with you and what your worries are. So it is a time of great change for you. Wow, <laughs> you've got the king of wands with the creator. The amount of fire in your reading is uh, awestrucking. It's, I really feel that energy here. Something powerful is happening for you. And you've got the thunderbolt. This is the, um, <clears throat> the tower card. Something is going down for something else to rise up. And this is what creates the wheel here. Something is going down and something else of much greater magnitude is going up. Let's explore more. I wonder what's going down and what's going up. So you've got the nine of swords. It's like you are really stressed and worried. You can definitely see that. I'm not surprised. This is the topic of the reading. But I feel with the torch here, you will be shown the way. Although it feels cold, scary, rough at the moment, this is really all going to melt away and you will be shown the way. In fact, as we're speaking and as you're watching this reading, the doors are starting to open up to the new world that you are about to step into. So really wondering what's going down here. You've got the King of Cups with healing. And you know the doorbell just rang. It looks like there's a new opportunity coming for you that will heal a lot of things in your life. You've got the Four of Pentacles with the Miser. And you have the Seven of Swords with Politics. Ah, looks like what's going down is the toxicity that was perhaps creating that stress. We will discover what's wrong, perhaps eliminated, and you will gain access to that which you couldn't gain access to before. So awesome. Perhaps this is saying with, you'll be shown the way when the opportunity that just popped in, that a new opportunity is coming that will allow you to drop that which used to bring you a lot of stress, uh, harm your body, put you, yeah, put you under a lot of anxiety and stress. So that's what's dropping out of your life. You'll finally discover what's wrong. And that opportunity will allow you to heal and gain access, as mentioned, to which you didn't have access to before. Maybe you were getting access to a little with the Four of Pentacles, the Miser here. And then you'll, you're finding the way to much more where that came from. Wow, look at that. <laughs> You've got the Page of Cups with Trust. Definitely your strongest message here. You're afraid at the moment, but you're reading saying trust. You don't understand the major changes that are happening here. The new opportunities that will help you climb up. You're afraid, but your reading is saying you're protected. And that um, that chapter that you're in or that phase that you are in is nearly finishing up, wrapping up. And you're, you're yeah, it's like you're wrapping up a specific phase in your life. And in no time, 
it's already happening as we're speaking. You will find yourself in a, in a much higher position in life mm. or position at work. Whoa, your cards are very powerful. <laughs> You've got the Ace of Wands with Source. I, can't, I won't lie to you. I mean, when I saw the creator here, I was like, is this Source, especially with all of this universal energy? And then now seeing the Source, I really feel that there's a message here from Source. Like, that's probably why you're untouchable here. It's like the universe... The source sees, wants to extend that energy of great luck to you, wants to protect you. Because it's important, maybe for you as part of the universe, for now to have that great luck. And the stars are aligning for you. It's like that, that time, it's fated. Unbelievable. For you to have that luck, it is not only going to benefit you, but it's like, where is the universe there? It's going to benefit the universe at large, perhaps due to what you will be doing with it, or maybe the energy you will be ex exuding, the healing you're going to be going through. I'm not sure. But all I can tell you from your cards is that there is like, it's not even your guides. It's like the universe is behind you with this. That's why nobody can take away what's coming. What you're being provided with. Whatever you're lacking, you're going to have. And it's like fated. This at this point tells me nothing or no one, as we saw from the very beginning, can take that away from you. You have the Knight of Wands. Wow. Wow with intensity oops just like the table shifted it's like things are going to be moving at a uh, speed of light for you meaning it's things are going to be shifting at great speed for you you can really see that and that's why you have trust you've got nothing to worry about because it's really not in your hands and what's you will only experience what you're fated to experience and in that phase of your life it's really good. The difficult parts are now melting. And I have the strong feeling that you're not going to lose one thing over the other. It's a time of integration. And you can see it here as well. It's a great time of integration. It's not a time of having one thing over the other. It is a time of experiencing it all in a good way. Whoa. <laughs> What a card. I mean, if I tell you at this point, the same message is that your well-being at this point is aligned with the well-being of the overall universe, if not the earth as well. Do you see that? The Ten of Pentacles. Your Can you believe it? It's crazy. But you can see it here as well with me. Ten of Pentacles is like abundance. It's fulfillment. It's uh, beyond that. It's an excess of an energy. And Ten of Pentacles entails everything. It entails your success. It entails wealth. It entails generations to come that are uh, happy, wealthy, and stable. It, it's like you're going to get it all, my dear pile number three. And I can't believe how you would have energy like that and be worried. Maybe you haven't seen it yet, although I highly doubt it with this slit on the door. Maybe you've seen a little bit now. There's a little bit and there's more from where that came from. You're moving very quickly towards great fortune and great abundance and great wealth, great stability, happy family, all of it. And believe it or not, you're, you uh, achieving that is good for everyone, including the universe. I don't know how. One day you will tell me, guys, <laughs> how. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to be using it to heal. Maybe you have a strong mission and you're meant to receive all of that stability and wealth and happiness. To do, your hands will be healing hands. Uh, yeah. In the world. So all the best of luck with that. It's like integration. You know what? This could be saying like you are an evolved person 
who will be using all of these blessings for the greater good, this power for the greater good. So, my dear pile number three, you in specific have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you are getting into great time, times of abundance and happiness. And the things that are worried about, that are hindering you, <clears throat> that are tricky, are, are falling out of your life for other things to rise. And nobody can take that away from you. You're meant to have it. No circumstance, no economy, no people, no situation can take that from you. It is yours. It is your time to feel that absolute bliss and fulfillment. What was kept from you will now be given to you at great speed. And you'll find that you have it all. In your hands it's a, a time of great luck with jupiter my dear pile number three and all i can tell you is really there isn't much for you to worry about you're moving upwards in fact i think it's going to continue to expand this door is going to continue opening and opening and opening and opening up up until December when things are going to go crazy good <laughs> for you. So from now until December, it's only going uphill from here. Expect months, month after month for you to experience more abundance, more difficulties out of your life, more personal growth, by the way, more power, more opportunities, things just moving at a great speed, things that would take lifetimes to build lifetimes to he heal from oh there is great healing how did i miss that there's great healing for you as well so things that would usually take a long time to happen is going to happen between now up until december for you month after month you're gonna go higher you're gonna you're gonna heal you're gonna feel lucky and it's a time of great fortune and change for you. And like I told you, and I will continue to tell you, nobody can take that away from you. How about before ending your reading, we pull out three cards to let you know what you can expect to happen right away. And this way, it will be as a sign for you that what you're seeing is true and that there is more to come. Let's check them out for you. Look at that wheel. <laughs> Things are moving and changing for sure. All right. So it says indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. You have bag, something important, such as new job or raise. That's, didn't I tell you guys there's something about like a new position, new job, new raise, new office, something like that. So that's coming strong. New opportunity as well. In Specifically in your career, we've got four instead of three. And you have kite with vacation. And you have April. Okay, so here are a couple of things which you can expect when they happen. You know that this reading, of course, this reading is for you, but it's just so uh, as a confirmation. In April, it seems like there is maybe a small vacation that you're going to have, maybe a small getaway, a trip, or maybe you're traveling somewhere and you're really going to enjoy that. It's going to be a great blessing in your life. And it, this trip will add to, will have an effect to how you're moving forward at a great speed in your life. Also, um, you might be either getting a new job or a new opportunity next right away here in your life. Maybe with the bag also money that you're not expecting coming in. And these two will not just be like uh, because of the wheel. They're not just going to be like, here you go. That's a nice thing for you to have goodbye. No. These two things will have a huge effect on your life on how you move forward at a great speed. So look out for these two, my dear pile 
number three. You know, April could also be spring, sometime during the spring. Um, March, April, May, you know. But for some of you, it could be specifically April. You know, April has been popping up for months for you guys. So, yeah, something up in April. And it has to do with a trip or vacation or some form of travel or a getaway. And there is a new opportunity or some money that will allow you to do something coming up for you. Both of these uh, are not just an omen that you, this is absolutely your reading, but also they are are not they are there to make your life move forward there's some great effect that they will be adding on to your life and my dear pile number three this was truly a mind-blowing reading i wish you the best of luck with that it's truly awesome i do hope you guys update me all the best of luck with that this was your reading and if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and my dear pile number three, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, wishing you the best from my heart. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading.